Hello, UCAR. Peter Christensen here, coming to you from the CEO's desk. So we've been talking a lot this year already about agency. Went through all the agency agreements, particularly the buyer uh, broker agreement, and then the UAR Forms Committee changed it. And then the news about the NAR settlement came out, so it'll pretty much a guarantee it'll be amended again very quickly. Uh, we're already talking about it on the forums committee. So, um, yeah, I was thinking about what in my past videos, you know, may not may not be uh, relevant anymore based off of, of the news this week um, with, uh, I guess it was last week with the settlement. Um, so I just kind of want to talk about that agency and what might change with uh, with this proposed settlement. And uh, don't get me wrong. This is a significant change. It is. It is. It's a big change in the industry. Uh, taking the BAC. I'm so I was talk talking specifically about the BAC being taken out of uh, as the big change of the MLS. You know, it did a lot to, to make the system very efficient. Um, so that, that'll be a big, a big change. But as far as agency goes and how you represent your clients, really not that much is going to change. Um, the way I see it, there's, there's just, there's still a demand for the services. There's still buyers that want to buy and there's still value in that uh, service that buyers agents provide for buyers and uh, that role really isn't diminished by any of these uh, proposed rule changes um, in that settlement and so i think there's still a lot of need and good to be done for buyers um, with it, it, just in a real estate transaction and so that's the good news, right? There's, there's still a demand for those services, and I don't see that that going away. So what what has changed as far as agency specifically? Well, you they've really set out, and it hasn't changed. Sorry, what is proposed to be changed? Who knows? Things could could change in that proposed settlement. So nothing's effective yet. Let's be clear there. Um, as of the 21st of March when we're filming this, but, um, okay. So they're, they're going to ask that those agency agreements be, first of all, that there is one, which is a weird thing to me that still a majority of states don't have an agent, a buyer broker agreement. We've had it for decades in Utah. Uh, so that's not new, not a change. Uh, that, it, that it will need to be signed before touring properties. You know, that's something I don't know that every agent has been doing. It's something I know the, the the attorneys, when we teach, we're usually preaching that, hey, please get those signed as soon as possible at the front end of, of your representation rather than when you're filling out that first offer. And so that will be, that will be a change of getting those signed. But then you know, the compensation really is the big topic of how does it affect a buyer's agent? Well, n the the change would have the BAC taken out of the MLS. And there's already a spot in the buyer broker agreement for compensation. And hopefully you've been going over that with buyers uh, and doing that justice and helping them understand what their role is. And so, again, that shouldn't be a... Um, a big change in discussion discussing compensation and as i mentioned in prior videos uh this year already that discussion of what role might the buyer play in that compensation and whether or not uh, they will pick up that bill and under what circumstances they will pick up that bill now let's be clear there's still under that the proposed settlement there's still the opportunity for a seller a listing broker to offer uh, cooperative compensation. They just can't offer it in the MLS. And so what does that look like? I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll see uh, We'll see what um, how the forms committee will address it. We'll see how individual brokerages address it. Uh, I, I don't know yet. But 
So that will guide that discussion a little bit with a buyer. But the point is the buyer should have and hopefully was and still will be involved in that discussion about compensation and what their role in that is and what their obligation in that is. Uh, and there are a lot of nuances that we'll go over as we uh, have forms changes that address those. We're still getting clarification, um, quite frankly, on the proposed settlement and uh, what uh, what can and can't be done as far as agency agreements, agreements to pay, altering agreements, you know, all those kinds of things. We're, we're trying to get those answers ironed out. And uh, so hopefully those are coming soon. But as far as your relationship with your buyer, I mean, it really shouldn't change a whole lot. And the services you provide should not change uh, a whole lot. So hopefully, I don't know. This, I don't know if I, they, I answered a lot of questions in this uh, more than just addressing that agency really isn't affected a ton. Um, and so, yeah, hopefully that helps. Remember, this is not legal advice. This is legal information only. If you need specific legal advice, please contact your attorney. Thanks for tuning in.